Six months ago, I decided to do something that most people talk about, but very few actually commit to. I unplugged Windows completely. No dual boot, no safety net, no just-in-case virtual machine hiding in the background. For half a year, Linux Mint 22 became my only operating system. Work, browsing, updates, troubleshooting, everything. And this video is not a Linux fanboy victory lap. It's a reality check. What worked? What broke? What surprised me? And whether Linux, specifically Linux Mint 22, is actually ready to replace Windows for a normal user in the real world. Let me start with why I chose Linux Mint in the first place. I didn't want to make this challenge harder just to prove a point. I wasn't interested in arch experiments, rolling releases, or daily driver stress tests. Linux Mint has a reputation for being calm, predictable, and friendly to people coming from Windows. Cinnamon looks familiar, the system doesn't fight you, and most importantly, Mint values stability over shiny new features. That made it the perfect candidate for a six-month Linux-only experiment. The first boot felt almost suspiciously normal. Installation was straightforward, drivers were detected automatically, and within minutes, I had a usable desktop, no command line required. Wi-Fi worked, Bluetooth worked, sound worked. That alone already challenged an old Linux stereotype. Mint didn't feel like an alternative operating system. It felt like a computer, and that tone carried through most of the six months. Daily usage was where the real test began. Browsing the web felt identical to Windows. Chrome, Firefox, Brave, they all behaved the same. YouTube, web apps, email, social media, cloud dashboards, all fine. If your digital life mostly lives inside a browser, Linux Mint barely feels different. And that's a bigger deal than people realize, because that's already how many people use computers today. File management took almost no adjustment. The folder structure made sense quickly. Home, documents, downloads, pictures, drag and drop behaved as expected. External drives mounted automatically. USB sticks just worked. Network shares were easy to access. This is one area where Linux has quietly matured without making noise about it. Now let's talk software. This is where many Windows users hesitate. The Mint software manager turned out to be one of the calmest experiences I've had on any operating system. No ads, no forced accounts, no dark patterns. You search, you install, you're done. Updates happen in one place. System updates, app updates, security patches, all together. That alone feels refreshing after years of Windows update roulette. For everyday tasks, I never felt blocked. Office work was handled by LibreOffice. It wasn't perfect, but for documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, it was more than good enough. PDFs were effortless. Media playback was flawless. Video files opened without codec hunts. Even screen recording and editing had solid options available. Where things got interesting was when I stepped outside the basic user bubble. Hardware-specific software was the first crack. Tools that only exist for Windows simply don't exist on Linux. Printer utilities, firmware updaters, RGB control software, some device configuration tools. Sometimes there are open source alternatives. Sometimes there aren't. In those cases, you either accept limited functionality or find a workaround. Gaming deserves its own honest segment. Thanks to Steam and Proton, Linux gaming is no longer a joke. Many Windows games ran shockingly well, sometimes with zero tweaking. Performance was often on par with Windows. Load times were good, controllers worked, but not everything worked. Certain anti-cheat systems are still hostile to Linux. Some multiplayer games simply refuse to run. And when something breaks, troubleshooting can require patience. For casual or single-player gaming, Linux Mint was absolutely usable. For competitive multiplayer gamers, especially those tied to specific titles, Windows still has the advantage. That's not ideology, that's just current reality. Now let's talk about stability, because this matters more than specs or features. Linux Mint 22 was boring in the best way possible. No random reboots, no forced updates, no sudden working on updates do not turn off your computer moments. The system stayed exactly how I left it. When updates happened, they didn't disrupt my workflow. Over six months, I experienced fewer system-level problems than I typically see in a few months of Windows usage. But Linux isn't magic. When something breaks, it can feel more intimidating. Error messages are sometimes less friendly. Searching for solutions often leads to forums instead of official documentation. You need to read, think, and understand what you're doing. 
Linux rewards curiosity, it punishes blind clicking. The terminal deserves an honest mention. Yes, you can avoid it most of the time, but at some point you will use it. The difference is that on Linux, the terminal isn't a sign of failure, it's a tool. Once you stop being afraid of it, it actually becomes empowering. You type a command, something happens, and you know exactly what changed. Performance on Linux Mint was consistently smooth. Boot times were fast, the system felt responsive even on modest hardware. Background processes were minimal, resource usage stayed low, fans spun less. Battery life on laptops was respectable, sometimes better than Windows, sometimes equal. The system felt efficient, like it wasn't constantly doing things behind my back. Security is another quiet win. Linux doesn't rely on fear-based antivirus marketing. Permissions are explicit. The system doesn't treat the user like a potential criminal. Updates arrive quickly. And because Linux has a smaller malware target surface, the overall experience feels calmer. Not invincible, but sensible. Now let's talk about the mental shift, because this matters more than specs or features. Using Linux changes how you think about your computer. You stop being a guest in your own system. You're not negotiating with an operating system that assumes it knows better than you. Linux Mint 22 feels like a tool that serves you, not the other way around. That said, Linux isn't for everyone. If your job depends on specific Windows-only software, moving to Linux full-time may not be realistic yet. If you hate troubleshooting, learning, or adapting even slightly, Windows might still be the better choice. Linux rewards engagement. It doesn't babysit. After six months, did I miss Windows? Honestly, less than I expected. I missed a few niche applications. I missed the guarantee that everything would just exist for Windows. But I did not miss forced updates. I did not miss ads in the operating system. I did not miss feeling like my computer belonged to someone else. Linux Mint 22 didn't feel like a compromise. It felt like a different philosophy, one that values stability, control, and respect for the user. It wasn't perfect, but it was consistent, and consistency builds trust.